Let us have an example using Dimov's theorem for roots z to the power 1 over n. This is the given z for j. So we draw z here. This is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis and this is the vector representing z equals to 4j. Basically it means that it is the vector going from the origin with unit length 4 in the imaginary axis, into the imaginary axis. Now, we can then write it in the polar notation or the complex exponential notation for e j pi over 2. We want to find the root of z and there will be two solutions. And we use the Dimov's theorem of the root and then what we remember is that the modulus will be 1 over 2 for n equals to 2 and the angle will be theta plus 2 pi k k equals to 0 and 1 because there are two solutions divided by n where n is 2 in our example right so simply the easiest way to solve this problem is to use in the polar notation substituting this value 4 is the modulus of z pi over 2 is the angle so what we do is that z 4 over j this is the angle theta equals to pi over 2 remember we are always using uh, our examples using radians and not s degree right so we now want to substitute for k equals to 0 and k equals to 1 so the only thing is changing is here. When k equals to 0, this pi over 2 divided by 2 is pi over 4 for anchor. 4 root 2 is 2. So this is the first solution. The second solution is pi over 2 plus 2 pi because k is 1. And therefore it becomes pi over 2 plus 4 pi. Then we have 4 pi plus pi is 5 pi divided by 4. That's the theta this is anchor. We now sketch. This is the first solution. Modulus is 2, anchor is pi over 4. The second solution is also modulus 2, anchor is 5 pi divided by 4. So the take home message is this. The solutions of the roots will have the same modulus. So note this is 2, the length is 2, and the length is 2 here. And the position of the solutions would be uh, in in the radius of 2 so this is the radius of 2 and then what happened is that you will find that uh, the position of the solution will be distributed equally so in here when there is two solution one will be at one point of the radius of the circle and the other point will be directly opposite. Uh, you can see solutions of 3, 4 and it will be x. The distribution of the solution will be on equal distance around the radius of the modulus of the solution. So with that, this is the first example. We'll now go to the second example. Here, we make it slightly difficult. Now we have z and we have 1 over 3, but now we have a negative. So we introduce two difficulties here. And uh, let's proceed on how to solve this. First, instead of solving for minus 1 over 3, we solve for z to, to the 1 over 3. So it's cube root. And then once we have found that, then we're evaluating the reciprocal 1 over the cube root. All right. So when z is equals, we always put this kind of notation, uh, the complex exponential notation, z equals to r e j v, and then we substitute uh, the the nth root uh, notation, so z 1 nth root is the radius uh, with 1 nth root, and the v plus 2 pi k divided by n to get the n solution, where k equals to 0 to n minus 1. Now, uh, our problem is uh, this. 
1 plus j. So let's go and describe, show where is 1 plus j. This is 1 and this is j. So this is z. So this is theta. So the length is of course root 2 because one side is 1 so it's 1 square plus the other side is 1 square square root so it's square root of 2. The theta is very nice because it is nothing but pi over 4 because uh, the opposite is 1 and the hypotenuse, the, sorry, the adjacent is 1. Alright, so it's pi over 4 radian and now we are going to substitute. Now, when we are given that we want n equals to 3, then we have 3 solutions. So, so you can substitute for k equals to 0, k equals to 1 and k equals to 2 over here. So let's substitute for k equals to 0 first. So it's root 2 to the power of 1 over 3. And the angle is pi over 4 divided by 3. So you can work it out. This is the first solution. k equals to 1. The only thing changed is here. The length is the same. So the only thing changed is the angle theta. So you substitute k equals to 1. You get 2 pi plus phi, phi is pi over 4, then everything divided by 3. You get 9 pi over 4, 12. The last one, k equals to 2. Again, your 2 pi k, k is 2, becomes 4 pi. So it's phi plus 4 pi divided by 3, you work it out, it's 17 pi divided by 12. So we now have 3 uh, solutions. And because this is nothing but z, to the power 1 over 3. We haven't got 1 over z, 1 to the power 3 yet, which is what we want, right? This is the problem we want. So what we need to do is to we divide each of these solutions to, to take reciprocal of it, 1 over w naught, 1 over w1, 1 over w2. You can work it out. This is the answer. So I plot w0 minus 1, w1 minus 1, w2 minus 1. So what you take home is that the length is the same for these three roots. This, this, the position of the roots is sitting on a circle of the same radius, in this case 0 0.89, and the three points are distributed equally in the, tr the circle. So that's how you identify whether you get it right or wrong. Of course, uh, you have to get the first one right, and in fact, then you can determine the other two very quickly. Okay, so this is uh, the detailed example of the working. It's not very hard, but it can be tricky. With that, thank you.